The final graph that I wanted to show you guys is from another study that sought to figure out if once you recovered a man's sperm counts using HCG and HMG, could you maintain them with just HCG alone? Okay, so what they did is they took a cohort of men and they brought their sperm counts down to zero by putting them on testosterone, just like in the previous study. Okay, once their sperm counts were determined to be down to zero, they put them they took them off of testosterone and put them on HCG and HMG. And predictably, they had a really good rise in their sperm counts, essentially back up to baseline. And then they took away the HMG and they wanted to see, okay, could, could the HCG alone maintain the previous sperm counts that they got while on HCG and HMG? And as you can see by the graph, the answer to this question is also no. Okay. Now they they did maintain some degree of fertility. Okay, HCG it did it did keep sperm production going at some level, but you can see that it's quite a bit lower from the baseline. In this particular case, it looks like you know less than fifty percent of their baseline going out to twenty four months on HCG. So HCG is a good drug. I do recommend it for most guys, unless unless they're elderly or you know for whatever reason they they don't want to be on it. But it, it's an absolute must for, for men that want to maintain fertility. The other thing that I really push for young guys, and you guys don't want to do this, I get it. I didn't want. I've had to do this. I didn't want to do it either. Um, is you got to go get a semen analysis, okay? Highly, highly recommend. If Again, if you have any inkling that you may want to father a child in the future and you're going to start on testosterone, you need to find out what your baseline sperm count is, okay? And a semen analysis is really useful because it can tell you other things besides just your count. So G, motility, and there's things that can be done to improve all of those things. But it's important to know, and you know, if you do your analysis and you come back and you got 75 or 150 million um, sperm per ml, cool. I mean, you, HCG alone, HCG is probably going to be fine. The, the drop that you'll get in those counts, it probably will not be significant enough for you to to have any sort of fertility impact. However, if you're one of the many, many millions of men out there that have low or borderline low sperm counts, we're talking 20 million or less, you need to know that, okay? Because you may still want to go ahead and, and start on therapy, and that's fine. I completely understand that. But you don't, want to, you don't want to be shocked, you know, five years into therapy and after trying with your, with your partner for four or five years to get pregnant, you don't want to find out then that the reason is that you've, you've had low sperm counts all along, okay? Because again, then him, you've wasted all those years. So I get it, it's embarrassing. You have to go to a lab, they give you a little cup, send you off to the bathroom. You gotta do your thing, you gotta come out with the cup. Again, I've done it. You know, it is what it is, just suck it up. Just be a man, just go do it, all right? It's a really useful piece of information. I, I, don't, I don't make it mandatory in my practice, but again, I strongly encourage guys to do it. Go to another town. If, if that makes you feel better because you don't want to run into somebody you know. I don't care. But just, just get it done. It's it's super important. I hope you guys found that helpful. Again, HCG, it's a fabulous medication. It's getting a little harder to get a hold of thanks to the FDA. Way to go, guys. It's still available, but you're probably gonna be you're probably gonna be paying more for it now because it's now it's gotta come from the big big pharma guys, okay? And they're gonna they're gonna jack the price up. The other thing to keep in mind is a lot of guys are being switched over from HCG to gonadarellin, thinking that it's going to do the same thing. Not likely in terms of fertility, in my opinion. Okay, we, we need more studies on it. But I was not able to find any good studies that gonadarellin and the way that it's being dosed with some of these TRT clinics is going to be sufficient to maintain fertility. You, you probably are going to have to be on HCG. And keep in mind, if you've got low baseline counts, you're probably going to have to take some HMG and some recombinant FSH. Um, and don't be surprised if your doctor looks at you kind of funny because they've never heard of those medications. Okay, they don't get used very often. But um, if you're a TR, if you're a physician that prescribes testosterone, you need to not only know about HCG, but you need to know how to dose HMG and recombinant FSH, and you need to know it backwards and forwards. Okay.